Five, four, three, two, one, boom. What's up, champions? I just uh, checking in with y'all. Um, I'm doing good. Um, my wife has got me locked up here in the in the bedroom. She's uh, but, and I got caught the other night. <laughs> I've been sneaking in the middle of the night, and I get up and I just walk back and forth in this room, get my exercise in, and then I sneak down the stairs once in a while, but not too much. I'm building up to it. And, um, you know, uh, you know, here's what I was thinking. I wanted to, you know, I'm so grateful that I uh, worked out as hard as I did to, uh, let me show you. Let me show you what I got, dude. I look like I was attacked. And that's my stomach. Huh? Let me see if I can show you this. Let me see. Oh, I got six wounds. I got one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. And it's like, you can see how puffy it is, how bloated. It is right here, but um, it's to be honest with you. Um, you know, I was thinking um, the other day. I was like, "Thank God I trained as hard as I did," because I honestly uh, don't know how I would be doing it if I did it, and. Uh, you know, it makes me think and have a whole nother level of respect for, you know, a lot of my champions and, and fellow friends and that are struggling with cancer and people I don't even know are struggling with cancer because the reality is that they, uh, I'm having trouble breathing right now, is um, they, uh, they don't train like I did. So then it makes me think, how the hell do they do it? Well, then the mind has to come into play, right? Just even to get up. Um, and I'm not even, you know, cancer is cancer. It is what it is, in my opinion. It's, it's not good in any way, shape, or form. But there's certainly different levels of cancer, in my opinion. I'm not doing radiation. I'm not doing chemo like my buddy is or people I know, what my brother went through. And, uh, and still, my body is trash, dude. I feel... Um, uh oh, here comes my wife. She's going to be like, what the hell are you doing out of bed? Hold on. Shh. <laughs> uh oh. Let me get back into bed quick. Look, at I got my buddy Diamond here. There's Diamond and Mickey. Let me get into bed. Let me get into bed. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. God, she's going to see this eventually anyways, but... Hold on. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Because I have the upper body strength. I can get in and out of bed and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, and the other thing I'm really, really grateful for on many levels, I mean, you know, I told, people told me this was painful. I, I had no flipping idea, dude. Um, but once again, I have the mindset. You know, I've been preparing this all my life, but just makes me have a whole different layer of respect for because it's just and it shows to the power because now that I'm on the other side I'm actually walking it it's easy to say yeah I get it oh you're awesome I understand it's not fun but until you actually go down that road just like anything else I guess um you have no idea dude I'm just keeping it real dude I'm 
get my ass kicked, but I love getting my ass kicked. And, uh, you know, when I think about that, when you think about kicking cancer's ass, you know, you have a whole different outlook on it because you really do kick cancer's ass because cancer kicks your ass. <laughs> Literally. So for anybody who survives it and fights it, they really are true champions, dude. I'm just keeping it real. And then the other thing I'm really grateful for is, you know, I'm not, I haven't, since I left the hospital, obviously I got to respect the doctors, which, but since I left the hospital, I had not had one opioid, had not taken any painkillers. I have the prescription right there, but, you know, because of my new system that I'm on and all holistic, natural, um, you know, I'm dealing with the pain and actually feeling good on it, able to sleep and uh, sneak up and down Bye. the stairs. Bye, baby. And uh, love you. Yeah, I'll stay in here. I won't go out. Listen, man, I'm going crazy, dude. I'm not able to. I'm being smart, though. I truly am being smart, but, you know, I'm not just going to sit down. I, I cannot just do that. I can't just lie in bed all the time. But, you know, I was just sharing with my wife, and she was saying to me how proud she is of me. But I was saying we were talking this morning, and uh, for me personally, just keeping it real, it's such a blessing to have the solutions that I do to not have to do the opioids for several reasons. One, even in the couple of days I was in the hospital, dude, you just become mean, dude. You just become short and it's, you know, you're miserable, you're edgy, you know, you get this total brain fog and you're snapping at everybody and I was just, you know, me and my wife are just having great times together because I'm at a different level, you know. And then for me personally, you know, if I didn't have another solution and I was taking the painkillers, justified or not, at this point, I would already be down that rabbit hole. You know, and I'm just keeping that real. I know my trigger and I know what sets me off. And, you know, I'm grateful because I don't want to go down that road ever again so having a solution that I have options to do it holistically and natural is is phenomenal and exciting to me all right Mickey so there's Mickey hello my name is Mickey Diamond you want to say hi Diamond say hi come here baby come and give daddy some love uh-oh, I think she's calling me. Anyways, champions, I better go. My wife's calling me. She's probably saying, hey, baby, I'm in bed. Look, see? <laughs> all right, guys, I'll keep in touch. I'll check in with you guys. I really, really appreciate all your well wishes and your prayers and everything. Um, I love you guys. I believe in you too. Believe in yourself. Make the rest of the day the best of the day. God bless. Boom. Um,